My name is Jay Marshall. I'm Global Head of Value Engineering for FISNA. We are a Series B startup out of Columbus, and we are effectively a 3D geometric search company, uh, which may make you ask what exactly is a 3D geometric search company. Uh, well, our enterprise SaaS offering is predicated off of one key construct, and that's that 3D is the foundation for most all of modern manufacturing. It's probably nothing too earth shattering so far. Obviously, we've leveraged 3D for many years in our manufacturing, uh, but it's actually that raw 3D format where we are laser focused. So our, our team of ex-Googlers, ex-Amazonians, diving deep into this core 3D format, because what we found is in the modern day of digital twin, of course, smart manufacturing, augmented reality, the metaverse, how do you search this world of 3D with 3D? And the answer is you don't. We've locked our products and our parts and our models behind text terms like part numbers and SKUs or other text fields. And that's what we reference as we make our th way through the rest of the journey in our other systems, or today we're calling digital threads. So as an example, the efficiencies that we found with our customers is where we might have something like a part ABC, which is exactly the same as part XYZ in our ERP systems, but ABC was maybe bought off of one supplier at one price point, we're paying three times that from another supplier because it was for another project. And we don't know that they're the same part. And of course it exacerbates itself when it comes to physical inventory, because we're probably keeping inventory for both of these parts. And that can have downstream impact. For example, uh, uh, taxes on excess inventory at year's end, or even extreme impact when we talk about sustainability initiatives, because I'm now having double the warehousing space because I don't realize this overage that I have. So our goal is to unlock this 3D data, allow us to search using 3D and be able to bring some of these inefficiencies down. And actually the great Dr. Michael Greaves who invented the term digital twin, a blog post of his from last month, I stole a line here where he states that the ability for computers to move from 2D comparisons, so SKUs and part numbers, to 3D comparisons is a potential quantum leap in capability and value creation. So we thought we could illustrate an example of a 3D comparison. I have a turbocharger assembly here in a popular CAD package. And on the left-hand side, you'll notice all the different sub-assemblies and parts that make up this turbocharger that you would find inside of an engine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bearing that is somewhere inside of this turbocharger, and we're gonna go and find it using just the 3D model. Now for this demo today, I'm going to use thangs.com, which is actually our consumer offering. Uh, everybody gets their own enterprise offering when they use FISNA, but we thought this would be fun. You can try it out yourself. Uh, and if I type in the word bearing, if I would be typically how I would search, uh, I could do that. But what I want to do here is that little button next to the word search. I'm going to press on that. And what this allows me to do is to actually search with the bearing 3D model.par file itself. So this is actually gonna scan almost 8 million 3D uh, objects out on Thangs and will return to me not only the bearing, but the actual turbocharger that the bearing is inside of. And so if I open this, turn it on its side and split the turbocharger open, I will in fact find the bearing inside. Now that's pretty cool, but if you look at the assembly list on the right, you won't actually find the bearing. And that's because the bearing is embedded inside the impeller axle inside of the turbocharger. Now this is significant because again, we haven't used any text searching. Uh, there's no bill of materials, no parts list here. I started with a 3D model of the bearing that found it embedded inside of another 3D object, embedded inside of another 3D object. And again, you would have your own environment with Vista Enterprise, uh, but again, the 8 million models and whatnot, we thought it'd be fun to demo inside of Thangs, which is powered by the same technology. So what happened here? Well, for that 3D model of the bearing, we effectively split it apart and create what's a unique algorithmic hash or what we call the FISNA DNA or PNA of that object. And just like every human being has its own unique DNA, every physical object or 3D model has its own PNA. And that's why we were able to go out there through those 8 million models and find it within the turbocharger and the impeller axle. And if it was inside of a jet fighter, or say an industrial piece of farm equipment, we would find it in there as well. And this becomes the foundational layer that we've built where we take all of your parts and assemblies, ingest them into almost a lake of PNA, if you will, 
And our entire platform that we've built allows you to search and compare side by side uh, from a designer's perspective, reducing design time by finding uh, possible parts or replacement parts, existing parts, as we mentioned before, inventory rationalization or supply chain optimization by finding alternative parts based off the geometry. And so our ask is, if you have any of these pain points, or if you know in your gut you have this inventory rationalization issue or maintenance optimization, our ability to do 2D to 3D, taking pictures of physical parts and finding uh, where those replacement parts are in inventory based off of 3D, we would love to reach out and share more how this 3D search technology can be used in your manufacturing. 